Hey guys, it's Creator Wolf 209 here, and today I have a Hobbit action figure review, and that is on Thorn Oakenshield from the 3.75 inch action figure line. And I do not have the packaging with me because um, with uh, Hobbit stuff, I'm probably not going to do packaging unless I think the packaging's cool, like like the character, like when I get Keely and Feely. Those two are my favorite dwarves, so I'm definitely going to keep the packaging for that. But I am I just didn't really feel like doing it for uh, Thorin, and so uh, if you guys want me to keep the packaging, I will. But um, uh, and if you guys don't care, then I won't. But um, And I know I've worn this jacket in like all last three of my reviews, or last two. This jacket is just awesome. It's like my favorite jacket. I got it for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. So, okay, so Thorn from the 3.75 inch line. And by far, even though 3.75 inch line, one of the a great detailed figure. So once I get my hands on the uh, 6 inch uh, uh, Thorin Oka Shield on the 6 inch 6 inch figure line, I will I I will be probably amazed by how much detail it has on it. So let's get into the figure. The let's just get into the figure. So we because ha we have to skip over the packaging. So, uh, um, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna start with the accessories. So he comes with, uh, well the goblins. The goblins refer to it as the goblin cleaver, and I'm uh, almost hundred. Yeah, uh, there is another name for the sword. I uh, do not remember it right now, but there is this one book that I'm gonna be getting. Uh, I saw it at Target yesterday. It was 27 bucks, but it has like all the swords, all the characters, and every um, place they've been. Uh, it's got all the names of everything in there, so then I'll know everything. Pretty, I'll, I'll know pretty much everything from the Hobbit, dealing with the characters and places. So he comes with uh, the sword he found in the. Well, I wouldn't call it a cave, kind of uh, hideout, if you would call it, and then. He also comes with his normal sword, or knife, or probably just the sword, yeah. I like the sheath for it, it's kind of like a half of a sheath, and that's pretty cool. He also comes with a the wooden shield that uh, he used to fight uh, uh, the Pale Orc, um, or Azog, I think, yeah, Azog. Um, so, uh, it's pretty cool. Especially, I like the metal, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's probably metal. I like the metal sides on it, let me get that in focus. I like the metal sides on the end. And while we're in focus right now, uh, the chain mail on the guy is very great detail. And just the belt, and yeah, especially the belt buckle. For 3.75 inch figure, it is definitely great detail. I can't wait to see what the 6 inch figure line Thorn has by uh, detail wise. <laughs> so, um, articulation wise, he has a ball jointed head with, uh, again, pretty, like, what do you, right, ugh, like with pretty much every uh, action figure of the Hobbit besides, uh, yeah, um, just besides, um, and I was looking at the, my other action figures over there, um, besides the, uh, besides, uh, hmm, oh, Fimble, the orc, the orc hunter, and, uh, and Smeagol, or Gollum, and, uh, Bilbo, um, all those, uh, those four or three figures, they do not, uh, they aren't limited by the hair on their head, but these, def the, uh, the dwarves definitely are. So, ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, elbows, swivel wrists, swivel, uh, no. No articulation in the hips, I was about to say that, but there is it. But his legs do go back and forth, and then so do his knees, and no articulation in the ankles. So that, and, oh, and, uh, the sword that he comes with, there's a little peg right there, and then there's a little hole in his, uh, back that you can put it on, and his hair does get in the way, kind of. There we go. His hair does kind of get in the way, but 
it's fine. A uh, small sacrifice for a great vi for a great figure. And since I was pretty short of you, I think I got time to show you guys some stuff I've picked up recently, and uh, stuff that I've not really made but just printed off. But, um, I did print off a map of Middle Earth. I just I don't I just want to be able to uh, just look at that when I'm bored. And then um, uh, the map and the Hobbit. So, and then my mom, uh, today got me, well, yeah, today, uh, she got me, um, a magazine, and it's pretty much everything, Hobbit, pretty much. It's got, it's just pretty cool, because it's got all the, um, it's got a bunch of the, uh, what's it called? Ah. Uh, it's a bunch of the places that people have been. It's got character descriptions. It's pretty cool. So I got that, and then I also picked up the uh, newer cover of The Hobbit. I'm going to start reading that. And then I uh, made this bookmark that's got all the dwarves on there with all of its names. And as I said in this, rev uh, this review, uh, what's his name? I always get a mix. Yeah, it's Keeley is by far my favorite dwarf of all probably and then I got this cool uh, poster of Middle Earth I'm not going to unroll it right now well just a little bit because it may bend it so it's got a whole post like a poster of Middle Earth and I'm probably going to hang that on my wall behind there I'm pr pretty sure I already mentioned that in one of my other hauls or reviews so that's Thorin and my little collection and uh, my next review will probably either be on, uh, let's see, yeah, um, uh, uh, Fimble and Warg, uh, the Warg, the, uh, yeah, just uh, Warg and Fimble, uh, Fimble, Warg, Warg, Fimble, whatever you want to call it, uh, wherever you want to, however you want to say them, but um, that'll probably be next, and then I will be ordering uh, Keely, Feely, and Balin, and Dwalin. Uh, two packs, and then once I get enough money, I will, well, once I have enough money, like reserve money, or whatever, I will uh, be getting Bilbo Baggins and Gollum, and then start with the six-inch uh, figure line. So, uh, that's my review, so, um, until next time, keep collecting.